everyone. Okay, so today's video, uh, I have my witch hat. I'm going to try and wear it from now on. But in today's video, I'm going to talk about some things relating to, um, what do you call it? Dream magic. <laughs> so I have a few things here already prepared. And that is making dream oil. Um... I will make a list of herbs and crystals you can use within Dream, Mag Dream Magic within the community tab on my channel. Um, some of it probably isn't going to be from me that I've made, like because I've been making Book of Shadow pages for you guys, um, and you guys can tip me on my coffee, uh, which is linked to my PayPal and things like that. But other than that, it's free. Um, so I'll probably have the recipe on how to make a dream oil, and if you want, I can show you guys how to make it. Um, there is that. And then I have some, a misting spray to spray when I'm about to sleep. And it has, um, witch hazel, like half of witch hazel, so the essential oils can mix well within the mixture. And then I also have half of moon water because that's very good for psychic awareness and development and things like that. Okay, so I was trying to look for my journal and I don't know where it is. But that's another thing that's really good to use if you're going to be doing dream work and uh, magic and things like that is having a dream journal or a journal that's just dedicated to your dreams and dream magic and workings and things like that. Next is making a dream pillow. <laughs> so mine's is not the size of like an actual pillow. It's just a little one. And this one I put sage, rose. I did mist it. I also anointed it with some oil. Um, I put it amethyst in here um, or it's actually a bead of amethyst and then a bead of um, lapis lazuli to help with you know awareness lucid dreaming astral traveling things like that and then I also put a sigil on the backing um, I also put mugwort in this that's another thing and this oh my goodness uh, I had a dream that Freya visited me um, and <laughs> it was just really trippy. I highly suggest having a dream pillow sachet to keep under your pillow when you're dreaming. And then next is also a dream key or wand. This is one I made. It has amethyst, a little bit of, I think it's soda light. Um, and then an evil eye um, friendship bracelet I made that I cut it and wrapped around this. The stick itself is selenite, and then I wire wrapped it a little key charm on top. So it's like this. Um, technically, how you're supposed to use this is um, you can keep it near you, keep it under your pillow. You set your intention uh, to, you know, you find this into the dream realm, especially if you do lucid dreaming and to basically remind yourself that this is the key to help you open things. It can also be used as a wand when you're in those type of realms. So, yes. Um, and I'm sure there's other people who do it differently, but it has helped me so far very well. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> so, yes. And then another thing that I forgot to take out, but I have a tutorial on it on my channel, which is a dream um, spell bottle, and it's to help with like nightmares, um, to help protect you, and things like that. And I have it under my bed. Um, it's not something I would really want to keep under my pillow, like a dream pillow or a sachet or sachet. <laughs> Um, it's just something you want to keep on your bed or near your nightstand. Um, so yes, so this is my go-to. And I 
hope you all like this video. I know it's short, uh, but I'm trying to keep it short and sweet. And I also hope you like my setup. I have a witchcraft poster here, witchy stuff, um, and a buffalo dancer because that's part of my um, nationality because I am Native American also. So, yes. I hope we all have a good day. Make sure to check out my community tab for um, some Book of Shadow pages. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.